Our people make it work. It's the new brand for Talbot County. I hope you like it. We think it tells a good story. We feature our people in the many different jobs in Talbot County. <clears throat> the operative word being work for economic development. And the challenge, how will we define our work in the future? And how will work contribute to our economies? I'd like to talk with you a few minutes about work. As the County Economic Development Director, my concern is expanding and retaining our tax base. We're a community of 37,600 people with a gross domestic product of about 2.1 billion, and we had 3.1% growth rate last year. Our labor force is just 20,000 people spread out across diverse economic sectors. And we look a lot like rural, Maryland, uh, rural America, except that we have abundant quality of life, a very attractive location, and amazing people. But will these characteristics ensure a long and uh, successful career and stability for the people who work here? How will we ensure that our communities have meaningful work? And what is our job in imagining that work? Let's look at grain production. Grain production contributes 80 million to our local economy. It takes two men less than one day to harvest 100 acres. They produce 20,000 bushels of corn. One man turns the 12-row combine on and off. He doesn't even steer. The other man drives three 20-ton trucks of grain to the grain storage facility. When that grain hits the truck, they know how much grain they've got, what's the yield per acre, what's the moisture, what's the price today, what's the price in six months, and what's the price in two years. Technology has radically changed the work of agriculture. GPS, automation, and um, satellites have made this work almost automatic. There may well be jobs in, in the future in supplying food, but what will those jobs be? And what will those people be doing? Let's look at transportation. Transportation is important to Talbot County. Easton Airport is the second busiest in the state. It generates 50 million a year in revenue. We have all manners of corporate jets and airplanes, and soon we will probably have UAVs. Much of it has become automated. But if that mechanic doesn't do his job, those planes do not fly. And the skill set and the training for that mechanic is intense. And when that mechanic retires, that company will import and buy talent. It will likely not be local, it will likely not be from Maryland, and it might not even be American. The transportation sector will be displacing thousands of workers in the very near future. <clears throat> One of those major disruptors is undoubtedly Tesla. Tesla grabbed our attention earlier this year when they sold 300,000 cars in three weeks. Those cars sold for $35,000 a piece. They will not be delivered for two years. We witnessed a major shift in the transportation industry. But the bigger story may be the number of workers who will be moving to Story County, Nevada. Just like uh, the hundreds that went in the 1850s for the gold rush. Story County is a community of less than 5,000 people south of Carson City, at the foothills of Lake Tahoe. And this is where Tesla has chosen to build the largest factory in the world that will produce the Tesla battery. We will lose people in our communities to where work is being created. Today we understand economies that shift abruptly. We know industry sectors of work can be created and dismantled overnight, and that markets are mercurial. The there and the consumer economy has now landed on our front doorstep as technology has rewired the definition of selection, service, and product delivery. And as we all migrate to the cloud, where is the work? To have a conversation about the work of the future is timely and something that we should pay attention to now. <clears throat> after our basic needs of food, clothing, and shelter, it is, after all, our work that defines who we are, what kind of contributions we make, the role we play in our community, and how we accumulate wealth on which to build a future. As our economies are disrupted, we will have to redefine our work. 
and how it would contribute to the underpinnings of our economic base. So my parting role to you as your past co-program chair is to let you know that Mita will be celebrating work on, Jan on July 25th in Baltimore. Please come out for this timely and current exchange on work. And now, if you'll please excuse me, I have to go to work. Thank <laughs> you.